At 23 years of age, first 5'8 Wally Lewis is the toast of the rugby league world. Southern sports writers, not known for their generosity to Queensland footballers, are in raptures today. Lewis, who will be vice-captain for the Kangaroos against New Zealand on Sunday, is being described as the greatest league star ever. Well, over the years, he's enjoyed a love-hate relationship with the press and public, while he's been described as a genius, a natural footballer, and big-headed, and as a man who loathes training. Lewis takes on his critics and talks about his sport in this special report by Spencer Jolly. Come well, on, we don't wait for him, we're waiting for him. Okay, you want to come over here? You want to come over here? Totally, that one. Around. <laughs> uh, I used to get very bad before a game, you know, to the point of being physically sick before a game. But, uh, you know, after 10 or 12 of, you know, representative games of this sort of standard, it doesn't mind me too much anymore. I guess um, I get psyched up for the other guys more than I do for myself. I try and give them a bit of a hand along. And it's not actually until I, you know, set foot on the paddock that I do get a little bit of nerves. But, uh, you know, once you cop that first tackle and get a bit of belt around the head, you uh, lose all nerves and you just worry about, you know, settling down to the, to the game you've got to play. But I mean, you don't even hear them. You do hear them if you score a try, or you know, when Mal kicks a goal for us, you certainly you'll hear them out at um, out of that. But uh, you know, nobody nobody's going to get through to me while that game's going on. The psyched up and determined Lewis was expected to play a blinder. He didn't let himself or Queensland down. The tactical general stamped his authority on the game from the outset. make a break game for me really. I mean if I let my opponent get over the top of me, well he's got uh, an Australian jumper to his name and you know I'm back to the drawing board. I've got to start all over again and wait till the next interstate game. And uh, it's not mu it's not much fun knowing that there's somebody better on you around uh, when you really want something bad. So much has been spoken about Lewis's natural football ability, but it's his knack of reading the play which has singled him for greatness. People tell you you can do it, people that, that obviously did it themselves, such as Beats and, and, and Stradwick in particular. But, uh, you know, as I, as I say, it's, it's a simple thing, sort of mathematician uh, has got his skills on working out that sort of thing, but um, footballers, all they've got to be able to do is employ the same sort of things. If there's five guys on one side of the field and you've got six, well, obviously you've got a man over and you're, you're a big chance of uh, getting the overlap there and, and getting a try. But, um, I think it's, it's something that just comes along the way and uh, you know, it's something you've got to try and do. But if you overdo it, which I do a lot of, a lot of times at Valleys, it can be a, a downfall. I try and sort of uh, envisage what's going to happen on the next tackle and where we'll be in, in regard to what position on the field and then what we can do probably two tackles later, where we'll be then and you know, how uh, we're going to shift their defence around the park a little bit. Um, I guess it's uh, sort of just like a strategy. I've got to try and plan something where people uh, can sort of follow me. And I, I always try and let a couple of guys outside me know. You know, I'll say to them, look, we're going to go around here, we'll wrap it, we'll take it around one more to the left, and, you know, sort of be ready to come off me short, you know, in a couple of tackles' time. But, uh, you know, as I said, it, it can be a downfall sometimes. You, you really can't afford to, to, to look too far into the future in a game. You've got to try and make every player a winner. Well, if he has a problem, he's not the most dedicated trainer and uh, probably that comes about by the fact that he has so much ability that he can get away with it on a football field, but uh, probably for him to achieve the great heights, he'd have to go to Sydney. I think that's the toughest, toughest competition in the world and will bring the best out of him. And probably at the moment because uh, of his fitness problems, uh, he's probably only playing at probably 80% of his potential. Take Good, Good work. Come on, take Wally, take Wally. Marcus, you got to work. Disliking for hard training. 
Yeah, um, Arthur told me that. I'm starting to uh, realise that that's quite an important part of the game. I realised that on last year's Kangaroo Tour, I went over and I think in the first two or three weeks I put on half a stone. But then Frank Stantley took me under his, his wing and uh, I lost two stone from there till the end of the tour. And uh, it was probably the fittest I've ever been. I played some of the best football I've played. But even as a reserve player for those epic British tests, Lewis was still able to impress all when sent onto the field. Goes to Lewis, who throws a 30 metre pass to Kenny, and then it's on to Pierce, who's left with a yawning gap. I guess the second test, you know, when I was a reserve ball, getting a long ball out to Melman Inger, I think uh, was a very memorable part of that tour because, uh, you know, I worked pretty closely with Mel in representative games, and it's sort of, it was just sort of a, uh, a situation where I looked at him out wide and he saw me inside, and, and nothing was said. I think we both sort of realised that we had to work together a little bit. And, uh, you know, that was probably the highlight and getting back into the test side for the first side in France. Surprisingly, 23-year-old Lewis was a junior international in the Union Code. In fact, rugby at school taught him a lot of techniques he wouldn't have acquired if he'd played league instead. Paul McLean, one of the world's greatest rugby union first five eights. No matter what game he plays or decided to play, he was always going to be good at it. And I think uh, rugby has given him that variation and he's able to use those skills now in rugby league and use them quite effectively. This pass, this Lewis pass out to 40, 50 feet, is, is it really all that special? I don't think so. But what um, Wally's doing there is just clearing the ball to the open spaces and getting there, there as quickly as possible. Um, and I think that the few times that he did it last season caught people napping and uh, you know it was to great effect because he was cutting out their defence as well. Um, most people can do it, but uh, he's been tagged with it. Would he be a world beater if he stayed with, with you? Um, well, I'm glad he didn't, because we probably, <laughs> probably would have been fighting for the same position. But, um, oh, it certainly was. He, he was a great union player, and, but I think he always just knew that he was going to go back and play rugby league. Wally Lewis, it said, is the best league player to have come out of Queensland this decade. He's a professional. He could earn upwards of $50,000 a year in Sydney. Still, he admits he's doing nicely, thank you, in Brisbane. Now, I'm, I'm very happy with what I'm getting. I, I wouldn't mind a little bit more. But, uh, you know, I, I really do feel sorry for the guys that, that battle every week and they, they really do train their, their hearts out every week and they probably get about three or $4,000 a year for it. You know, I just can't understand, uh, you know, why they play the game for that much money. Obviously, there's the part about enjoying the game, uh, which the rugby union code do. But uh, in this day and age, I think you really have got to get paid for professional sport, you know. Everybody's a professional sportsman in my mind. If they're going to train three or four nights a week and then risk, uh, you know, injury and uh, permanent injury of a weekend, they should get paid for it. Lewis, the dedicated professional, knows just how important psyching up motivation is for success. The Jansen Ropus fight was just one of the ploys team management used this week. Watching the battering in the ring, Lewis pondered just how long he's given himself as a professional footballer. I'd like to get a little bit before 30. I've, I've played uh, six years, I think, first grade now. I think I'm in my seventh year.